hi there and welcome to my video on multi-track recording with audacity hi and welcome uh, to this video today i'll be doing a short video on uh, how to do a multi-track recording on audacity a uh, free software tool for uh, recording uh, on your computer in this case i'm using a, uh, a cheap budget laptop and a uh, small six channel uh, mixer uh, you saw in the start of the video and um, I'm going to show you how to do uh, a recording of uh, two instruments or an instrument and vocals at the same time using Audacity as I said in the beginning of this uh, video Audacity is uh, free software for recording and uh, you can download it from uh, SourceForge if you just search in Google for uh, Audacity uh, recording software you'll get the link to it before I start uh, with uh, Audacity and uh, recording the uh, multitrack, um, years ago I uh, was told by many people to use Audacity for recording, but I never uh, liked it that much because it had one main issue. It didn't work uh, using a USB audio interface. Um, this has changed. Um, recently I was looking for something on, uh, on YouTube and uh, I somehow stumbled upon uh, a video talking about recording uh, with Audacity and in the video I noticed that the man uh, telling about it uh, used a USB mic so I thought well hey it's uh, capable of USB recording now so that's an interesting development in the same uh, week someone else I knew asked me how to do uh, multi-track recording on his computer because he wanted to record a uh, bass and guitar at the same time and I thought well let's try with Audacity and see how that ends and uh, to my surprise it worked very well and in this video I'm going to show you that um, to be able to record uh, uh, with Audacity uh, multi-track you will need to be able to record stereo for this I use a uh, mixer but you could also use a uh, audio interface that is capable of recording two tracks at once two instruments or two mics or something like that um, it also needs to be able to support um, panning of the tracks you're recording because that's very important uh, in this case we're using two, cha two channels here uh, the mic is plugged in to channel one and the guitar is plugged into a channel, channel 3 and I'll show you the, uh, the mixer now well, perhaps it's not completely visible but what's very important is that you will pan the uh, one of the channels uh, the mic in this case to the left or right just what you think is best and the other channel should be panned completely opposite as you can see channel 1 and 3 are both panned completely the other way so one to the extreme left the other to the extreme right you will need this setting because um, otherwise it's impossible to split the channels later okay let's get started first of all you will have to click see if the input and outputs are right this is my focus you can see it on the left the complete left and here's the guitar yeah so uh, you won't hear it too well on the video next what I'll be doing is uh, hit the record button and uh, record a, a little song a little piece of it I wrote some time ago. It's uh, it's in Dutch. Sorry about that. Wat kan ik ze af hoor? Het wijst mij achterna, overal jouw spoor. 
So now you'll see uh, two tracks. It's a it's a stereo track, and one obviously is the above one is obviously the guitar, and the other one the vocal. Now Audacity has a very nice feature. This is a stereo track. So what are we going to do next? We are going to split the track. And this is the Dutch version, I'm sorry about that. Um, and now we have two separate tracks. We can start editing. For example, uh, add an effect, normalization. I'm sorry, the above one is, uh, is the focal. Okay. Well, as you can see, uh, it normalized. Uh, the bottom one is the guitar. If we now listen to it, I have to put on speakers. Okay, so um, you won't hear it um, on the video. What happens is that in this case, the um, the audio tracks are panned completely to the left and the right, and well, this it looks pretty difficult to solve that uh, and mix it right. But uh, the fun thing is that Audacity has a function, and it's here. You make it mono, you make this one mono, and now you can start panning. I like the focal, I like to have it a little on the left, get a little on the right. You can do some other editing, put some uh, fade in. Well, that's too much. Well, let's put some reverb on it. Small one. Okay. And, uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it well enough now. Uh, I'll do the edited version at, at the end of the video so you can hear how it sounds. Well, this is how it works. Um, works the same on uh, on other uh, recording software, you know, like uh, Mixcraft and others, but they uh, don't have this neat splitting tool for stereo track to mono. So that's that's what I really like about Audacity. Um, you can do a maximum of two in this setup. Uh, I've read people have uh, people have, have other setups with, with multiple channels. Um, that might work uh, even better. You know like uh, Eight channels or more, um, but I only have a USB stereo, so that's that's two channels. Um, it depends on the hardware, and uh, most people don't have that expensive hardware. So uh, I think uh, for for most people, uh, two channels at one run would be uh, sufficient for a little bare bones um, 
multi-track recording and Audacity does a uh, very nice job in this, very nice indeed. I uh, never expected it uh, to do uh, such a good job. Now there's one thing you should know. Um, there's a little issue on most sound cards. Um, the sound card uh, normally records a uh, the mic, it's, it's, it's a mic he's using here. Uh, normally that's only one channel. And you'll have to go to the settings. And we'll need to change the settings for your sound card. In this case, it's uh, two speakers. I'll need to go to the recording tab. Microphone. Properties. go to this tab, the advanced tab, will it be, uh, it probably is called the advanced tab. Normally it, uh, it, it is switched to uh, one channel, you will need to switch it to two channels. I have it switched to CD quality, uh, so it will pick up a stereo signal. That might be an issue for some of you. Uh, it might take some time to find stuff like this and Oh, I hope to have saved you some time here with, with this. Well, thank you for watching. This, uh, this is about it. Reist mij achterna, overal.